Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Brian the Floridian. Coming to you guys from Pasco County, Florida. More specifically, Newport Ritchie, Florida, which is a small town right here on the Gulf Coast of Florida. And it was established in 1924. One of the many little towns you find along the Gulf Coast. And I wanted to check it out, come by and walk around and see what's going on here. Lots of cool history, lots of cool murals, old buildings, and even a few ghost stories. But anyway guys, Let's go check it out, let's go this way, over the gateway. Follow me. So one of the first things you see when you come here down the main street of Newport Ritchie is this new building development called Main Street Landing. It's a huge set of buildings here with apartments, storefronts, and it's right here, right before you get to Coney River, which is down there. And that's considered, that bridge is called the gateway into Newport Ritchie. So there's already a uh, uh, meat market and deli that's in here and here's the owner right here how's it going welcome to the butcher's block baby checking this place out man yeah man come inside name's kevin okay nice to meet you kevin nice to meet you brother come on in <laughs> all right man i'll take a look inside all natural um, all of our meat is black vegan steak it's the top 10 percent i love meat okay grass-fed corn spinach the pork is dirac pork which is all natural pork Okay, awesome. So this is one of the new sh shops in the marketplace. Right here in this building, it just opened up, and that's their menu right there. They have sandwiches here. It looks like they have a few things, um, like deli, working deli counter here, meats and cheeses here. And the owners are really nice. Pretty cool. So guys, I walked into that butcher shop, the butcher's block. Uh, pretty nice people back in that shop. This is one of the first businesses that are here open in Market Street, uh, the Market Street Square, I want to call this area. But anyway, this, is, this has been going on. This project has, was actually started in, 19, in the 1990s and ran out of money. And they finally got this thing going. And it is a beautiful set of buildings here. There's apartments up top. There's shops on the bottom or project where there will be shops on the bottom. There's only two tenants here, so definitely, definitely check them out. Uh, there's one, the, the, the butcher I went to, Butcher's Block, really nice people there. And from what they, I saw on the menu, really cool looking sandwiches. So definitely check them out. They are here right off of Main Street, Newport Ritchie. But anyway, let's go take a look at the other tenant that's in this building. And let me show you what's around here. Follow me. So guys, here's the back side of the building, and there is the Butcher's Block. There's the storefront entry entry in the back, a table in the looks like a few tables outside. To eat, you know, sit out there and eat your lunch or your meals. But this is the whole this is the whole back side of the complex. So these are all apartment buildings, apartments in there. And it just wraps around this parking lot. And it's right on the Cody River, which is along which is on the other side of that building right there. So guys, here's the other shop that's opening. It is called Vampire Penguin, which has shaved snow desserts. And there's a menu right here. It's closed, unfortunately, but we can at least take a look at the menu. And from what the gentleman at the butcher box was saying, that very unique ice cream place here. Shaved ice. Pretty, very, very unique. And there's their hours right there. They're open at two o'clock today. Looks like there's a Denny Keg Ale Works coming soon along the side of this building here too. And there's a sign when you go walk, when you drive right into Newport Ritchie, the main street. The welcome sign right there. Established in 1924. 
city of Newport Ritchie. And over there would be the Chamber of Commerce. Right there, right next to the boat landing, which is on the other side of that building there. So all these shops are empty. They're looking for tenants here. So like I said, this, this came into fruition this past year after it's been on the planning stages since since 1990s but like that gentleman was saying they ran out of money and they just recently invested and finished this project which is right you can see me right there this whole big building or set of buildings if you want to call it that but let's go over the gateway and check it out just right over here so here's the bridge over Cody River right here they call this the gateway right into Newport Ritchie Florida downtown area but lots of color here, lots of color on the uh, planters, palm trees, and an interesting teal color for the bridge. Here's a shot of the river right there, Clear River. And right over there is Sims Park. So here's that Marcus Street buildings right over there. We just came out of Pretty cool entry into a small town here in Florida. So right here over the gateway, there's this building here, which states Newport Ritchie. Looks kind of like a railroad station here. And there's a gentleman's name right there on that sign. Gene Sarazen. I think he was a golfer, if I'm not mistaken, at one time. But this is what it looks like inside. It's a cool place to maybe sit down and read a book, relax, view the boats along Cody River. And right there would be your public boat ramp to park your boat up if you want to go to the park, which is right there, Sims Park. Or even perhaps go into downtown, which is over there. So that gateway bridge we just, cut, we just crossed is actually named after Dr. Frederick A. Gresson. So he was a family physician here for uh, 58 years and a Navy War II veteran and former city of Newport Ritchie councilman. A little bit of history about this bridge right there when you walk over the bridge. So right over there is Sims Park. And here's a gateway. Here's the actual entrance to Sims Park. This little entryway here with the columns here. This is Sims Park right there. talks about the park itself. It used to be called Enchantment Park and renamed in December 16, 1924 to honor George R. Sims who actually developed Newport Ritchie. Pretty cool piece of history. So guys, right here is the High Sienna Hotel, which was opened in 1927, and it's on the list of National Historic Places, and it was first put on that list in 1996. So this is a, a uh, mission-style Spanish Revival, Mediterranean-style looking old hotel back in the day. And it is going through uh, restoration right now. So at the time, back in 1927, this hotel had 50 something rooms and was the centerpiece of Newport Ritchie. Many of, many of the silent film stars came here. Thomas Mahan, Gloria Swanson, even Charlie Chaplin came here to stay at one point. And it's rumored that Babe, Babe Ruth came here to check this place out and stay here. But 
at the time. This was the main hotel here in Newport Ritchie. And it should be opening hopefully sometime next year with 40 rooms renovated into hotel rooms. Uh, a few restaurants. Uh, also a full a full service bar, I believe, in the style of 1920s, or reminiscent in that time period. But the uh, person renovating this, the company is called uh, High Cena Hotel Renovation Project, and it's owned by Jim Gunderson, who also developed the hotel in Mount Dora called the Lakeside Inn, which is an old hotel that he renovated, and now features rooms for guests to stay at now. Really, really cool. Look at the architecture right there. Alright, so this is a construction zone, so I can't go past those gates. But here is the courtyard, the fountain right there. And I was talking to one of the gentlemen, he said it's going to be ready in summer of 2020 next year. 40 rooms with a full service bar and a restaurant. And they're working on, looks like the inside right there, going through there. But look at the uh, architecture, really reminiscent of S Spanish architecture back in the day. That me Mediterranean feel, the tile roofs. And there's a tower right there. Actually, we'll take a look, a look along the back side and take a look at that tower, but pretty cool. You can see from the street, Main Street, Newport Ritchie. So another shot from the parking lot, and I was talking to one of those, talking to one of those women that were here, talking to the, uh, one of the contractors, and she actually worked here as a nurse when it was a nursing home for mentally, mentally, mentally disabled people back in the 1990s, 1980s. So this place changed hands many times. Became a, was mostly a hotel, became a home for the mentally disabled, for seniors, and also later for adults. But now it's gonna be a hotel, pretty cool. So the back side is all closed, including the sidewalk, but you can still see the tower right here from the east side of the building. So here's the east side of the building. Pretty good sized building. There's a few balconies right there. Mostly windows. But talking to the subcontractor, there's gonna be a memorial walk, I believe, placed right about there sometime in the future highlighting all the famous people here in Newport Ritchie that visited this place. So here's the west side of the building, the High Cena Hotel. There's a couple of chimney stacks right there. But I can't wait till this place is open. Hopefully I'll stay here sometime next year. Maybe book a room and see what it looks like inside. But definitely, definitely a cool place. Cool piece of history from the 1920s. So folks, here's the back side of the Hycena Hotel. There's a balcony right there. And then you have your tower. Lots of construction going on inside. But I imagine a lot of celebrities were set up there, smoking cigars, drinking up there, maybe might have been a lot of parties inside that little ballroom inside there. Definitely a cool piece of history here in Newport Ritchie, Florida. So guys, one of the stories about the High Cena Hotel is it's reportedly haunted. So who loves a good, good story? So anyway, one of the ghost stories of that they say about this place is a lot of times people would smell cigar smoke on that balcony behind me, even during the day and at night. People would see puffs of smoke, cigar smoke, on the balcony. That was one of the claims. And also, there was a claim of a gentleman 
from the 1950s wearing a, a dress shirt, not a, not a uh, sports jacket, but a dress shirt walking around upstairs along the upstairs balcony and then inside. And also I believe in that tower, which is behind me, there's a reportedly haunted by the ghost of a girl named Matilda who hung herself reportedly in that tower. So I don't know if these claims are true, but there's been ghost investiga investigations here, I believe. There's been a, a actual ghost tour that came through Newport Ritchie that that mentioned this in this in this place behind me. But definitely a little bit of for folklore and ghost stories about the High Cena Hotel. So the High Cena Hotel right there in the distance was right there, and along here is Sims Park. A little splash park right there, a big campy for the playground. Really cool looking place. Another view of the splash park right there. And these little pavilions, you can actually rent these little gazebos for, for parties or just for picnics. And right next to that park is the West Pasco Historical Society Museum or better known as the Rao Mensunaru MD Museum and Library but today is Tuesday so they're not open today they're only open Friday, Saturday and Sunday from 1 to 4 p.m. but this building is actually 100 years old and full of different artifacts from Newport Ritchie area a lot of history There's a gazebo right in front of the museum that you can, I believe, for events or maybe just to relax and observe the beauty of this area right here. So here's the back side of the main museum, but across the yard back here is another building with artifacts, I believe, connected to the museum. So definitely a lot of history in these two buildings right here, right next to Sims Park. So anyway guys, one of the folklores about this place, the museum is, or one of the spooky ghost stories is there's an actual desk that was owned by a Union soldier named William Barber that's in there and the museum volunteers would routinely smell cigar, cigar smoke around that desk and they did it so much, they smelled that smoke so much that they actually contacted a paranormal investigation team to come in there and take a look and they captured EVPs around that desk of William Barber the Union soldier and really cool really cool spooky history about this place but there's a haunted desk in there pretty cool ghost story so that building behind the museum is actually called Peace Hall this is the back side of the building and I believe it was a church at one time According to this placard right here, it says it was the Our Lady Queen of Peace Catholic Church. And it was dedicated on March 9, 1919. And it mentions it was damaged by a hurricane in 1921, but restored back to its original, original shape. But I can just imagine all the people that walked up these steps many years going to this church inside a peace hall. So guys, there's a band stage of Sims Park and the backside of High Santa Hotel. Right over there. And then you have the Gateway Bridge, which I call it as he walked over to New Parici downtown. But as you can tell, Sims Park just goes on and on along the Cody River. It just goes on and on that direction. And what's cool is these three flags right here, representing Florida, United States, and also the POWs. So definitely a picturesque looking park right here on the shore of Cody River. So this is Orange Lake which is a centerpiece or one of the centerpieces right here in Newport Ritchie, Florida downtown. 
and it's just right off the downtown strip, Main Street. Little fountain right there. Got these enormous docks going right into the pond here, or the lake, even though it's more of a pond than a lake. But looking at pictures from way back from the 1920s, this lake was here since then. And they actually built the downtown area around this lake. Pretty interesting. So this is a memorial garden right here in front of Orange Lake. And here's a memorial dedicated to the mem honor and memory of all the men and women who, of West Pasco County who served in our nation's wars. There's the helmet, the gun, the boots. And right there is the flag. So coming on the sidewalk, there's another, another memorial for the armed forces. And they're all over this park around the park here's the department of the navy seal and right over there was i just passed which was the air force seal way over there but also right across the street from orange lake is another major development in newport Ritchie. one of the three big ones this one is called the central and it's going to be a bunch of condos and apartments around situated around Orange Lake so it's part of it's already done and these were not standing here about probably about a couple years ago these are all brand new but there's more to come right over here I believe around the whole Orange Lake area so guys one of the things about Newport Ritchie is there's a lot of it's a few murals murals right here on the on the outside of the buildings here in, Newport, in downtown Newport Ritchie and there's one right behind me right here so then we can take a look at all these different murals and see what else is out there around downtown area and you guys keep following me so right on the outside of this attorney office here is one of the first murals I came across and it shows Orange Lake shows the uh, some of the old buildings back from the early part of the century 1920s I believe so good detail in these in this picture there's a market right in front of me looks like a place where we get root, root, root beer floats maybe ice cream hardware store and I believe that's some of the celebrities that were here in downtown Newport Ritchie at one time back in the day maybe a famous golfer famous actress famous military gentleman right there so right on the side of uh, Little Corona Cigar Lounge is this other mural. This big happy alligator. And there's a gentleman right there kind of just mes mesmerized by the alligator being so happy wearing his little hat. So this is the first part of downtown area that I just came to. And this strip was here since the 1920s. And right in front of me is the old Chasco Inn. So outside this financial building is a little plaque that states this used to be the land office. And it used to be the oldest brick building in Newport Ritchie, in 19, built in 1919. 
1919. So this whole thing would have been built during that time period. And here's what it looks like today. So 1922, that was built. There's a boutique right here in front of me. And there is the Chasco Inn right over there, the old Chasco Inn building. So it look, pretty much looks like it did way back in the day. Just a little bit different. But now it's a restaurant on the bottom. There's a few, there's a pizza restaurant, I believe, on the bottom, and another restaurant that's on the other, other side of the building. So another view of this built strip, main strip here in Newport Ritchie. And right here is the Cody River Brewing Company, which is a very popular destination here in Newport Ritchie, and they're closed right now. But definitely an old, one of the oldest strips of buildings here in this county, for sure. So right off Main Street is another mural of a train, let's say it's a train station. Right along the, the side of, I believe a hair salon and maybe a restaurant. And this was painted by artist Jen Curl. She's got a website right there. So here's a sign outside the Chasco Inn declaring it as the oldest building in Newport Ritchie. It was formerly the Havens Building, established in 1915. And the proprietors are Beth and Eric Frager since 2004. And on the bottom floor, is Christina's Pizza Shop and Herschel's Scratch Kitchen. So I'm not really sure what's up there. If there's still maybe a, maybe apartments up there or possibly rooms, but I think it's just apartments, I believe, up there. I don't believe it's an operating hotel right now. So standing right here on the corner of Nebraska Avenue and Grand Boulevard is the old Pasco Hardware Building, which used to house a hardware store back in the 1920s. And it is used now for shops, restaurants, and offices, but it still looks the same from 1921 or 1926. So that's the reported year that was built. No one knows for sure, but I'm just going to say 1920s, but it looks largely the same with the Spanish Revival, Mediterranean architecture. Pretty neat piece of history right here in front of me. So another point of interest right across from the old Pasco Hardware Building is the Suncoast Ritchie Theater which opened in 1925 and was the was a historic former movie theater and it was actually named originally for a silent, silent film star Thomas Mahan and it actually bore his name when it first opened as the Mahan Theater so Thomas Mahan lived in Newport Ritchie back in 1927 and had a vision that this area, Newport Richard, would be the Hollywood of the Eastern United States, this town. And he was a silent film star that lived here for a period of time in the 1920s. Definitely a cool piece of history. But anyway, it actually closed in 1934. And when it reopened in 1938, it became the uh, Newport Ritchie Theater. 
So what happened was it closed during the Great Depression for a number of years and reopened back in 1938. So guys, here's a closer view of the Suncoast Ritchie Theater from the outside. I just crossed the street here on Grand Boulevard and I was talking to an employee that works and she just walked in there named Elizabeth and she told me about the history about this place a little bit and what's going on. There's no plays currently right now but there is karaoke going on and movies being played here so they are using this facility for entertainment purposes and I think she said there's a few classes also going on right now as we speak but it is a full working theater for plays and on the outside here is a placard talking about the former name of the theater which, which used to be called Mayhan Theater 1925 which which this was built it was named in honor of Thomas Mahan, a silent film star which I talked about earlier and they've got these cool looking columns right in front of the doorway and the lights going around the facade a little bit of Halloween decor on the windows and there's a flyer she mentioned this flyer and also to check out the Facebook page about what's going on here but they are showing some movies and karaoke here Night of the Living Dead so there is stuff happening here in this theater also this other plaque on the other side of the columns here talks about Willard Clark who was the president of this theater and he lived from 1907 to 1981 and here's another another creepy ghost story about this place so guys one of the ghost stories at this Suncoast Ritchie Theater that's reportedly going around is that the ghost of Willard Clark is still here he's still observing his his performances here the movies here the uh, plays people still see him in his favorite seat so he what happened was he passed away in 1981 from a large from a major heart attack right after coming right after attending one of the performances here so people still see him in his favorite tux sitting in his favorite seat bb1 which is upstairs in the balcony and people still feel cold spots in his seat people that sit in his seat feel cold spots and chills and there's been also reportedly paranormal groups that came here and investigated and captured some EVPs and also captured uh, evidence of a lady in white in the film booth upstairs. So definitely a little bit of history here, a little bit of ghostly history in Port Ritchie. And I'm going to take a look around the side here and check out the side of this theater. Uh, there's a little bit more on the side on the west part. Let's take a look. Follow me. So wait guys, here's the west side. There's a stairway going up to the second floor a little bit creepy here <laughs> I imagine here at night along this this building right especially right over here but well, there's a stage door I imagine that's where people would bring their equipment in there for performances So pretty creep, creepy old theater right here in Newport Ritchie, Florida. So right here on Missouri Avenue and Grand Boulevard is another shot of this strip here near downtown. Down there is the Suncoast Theater and there's a Pasco Hardware Store, the old former Pasco Hardware Store. Another piece of history right here, another old building. And this is where it stops at right here on this corner. So guys, while I'm strolling around Newport Ritchie, another ghost story behind me at this building right here, which is 6229 Grand Boulevard. This used to be a 727 bar and grill. So at the time, a while, decades ago, used to be a, uh, there was a lady that ran into the room upstairs, a woman and her son, and one night they found her dead in her room, and reportedly it's been haunted ever since then. So it's, it's, it's changed different hands since then. It's now called a different bar and grill. But people still see her ghost in one of these windows right above me, right, right behind my head right here. And also coming out of the bathroom downstairs in this bar and grill. So pretty interesting, pretty spooky part of Newport Ritchie history here. 
So now it's called the Gatsby Highway, Highway and Cafe. And reportedly people would see her ghosts staring at people, staring at cars or whoever's walking by in 1920s attire right in one of these windows right there. It looks like it's closed. Right now it's closed for some reason. I'm not sure why, but right on the other side of the Suncoast Ritchie Theater. So guys, right on the side of this, uh, it looks like the Kazoo Sushi Bar over there is another mural and it shows a little bit of events from possibly the High Sienda Hotel. Back in the day, there's a hotel right there, the top of the uh, hotel, the tower. But this looks like the inside ballroom. I mentioned they had performances inside that hotel. And this kind of details about a little bit, or actually pays homage to what they did there in that hotel back in the day. And I can see, looks like Babe Ruth is right back, right back there. But I'm not sure who, who some of these people are. I'm assuming they're famous people, but uh, leave a comment below if you know who they are. These cars are unfortunately blocking it, so let's take a look closer. See if we can see what's going on. So pretty good detail in these pictures. So this mural does say it was uh, dining and dancing at the High Sienna Hotel back in the 1920s. And it lists right there the people in the picture from left to right. Looks like some of the names are people locally, but that was Babe Ruth I saw. So another, another pretty cool looking mural right here off of Main Street. Looks like a little bit of aquatic wildlife some dolphins, whales, stingrays, manatees, right in front of this pharmacy. It's where you find all these sea creatures right here. So this mural right off of Main Street also talks about, shows 1920s day on the Pitla Cody River, I'm saying it right? An artist is Keith Godson, April 2007. And it says the names from left to right, the faces. Let's go take a look. Pretty good detail in this mural. It's a cat up there in the tree. So I'm calling this river Cody River. That's the short name for the what I saw on that placard. So a lot of different faces here. Pretty cool. Right here off Main Street, Newport Ritchie. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for following me on, on my little walk through Newport Ritchie, Florida. I love doing these little walk through videos of little small towns here in Florida. And if you like this video, hit like, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, I will do more of these. You guys have a good week. Take care.